In this movie, we will see the telehealth application that we wrote for a chronic heart failure project. We computerized the guideline for warfarin slash coumadin anticoagulant for the specialized team of nurses at the call center. The application utilized telemedicine data and the patient's individual data in order to assist the nurses to flow through the guideline. Now, let us take a look at the application. In the demo of our application, you will see the nurse's dashboard. All of the data here is live, which we received from the local health maintenance organization. As you can see on the upper right-hand corner, the patient is stabilized as, you, as he is within the INR target level. We will now show you that all of the data here is actually live, and you can see the INR, Coumadin, and telemedicine data. We will now be adding a new patient in order to demonstrate the system. Once the new patient is added, the protocol starts to work. As you can see, we don't have a target INR level because we are missing an important piece of data. Once the INR data is added, we can see that this patient is within the INR target level and therefore is colorized as green. If we added mechanical valve, then he would be out of the target level and therefore would become blue. Back again to the green level, we will now start the consulting session. The consulting session is for the specialized nurse and takes the nurse through the actual protocol. We also have the ability to show a, a conversation summaries. In the conversation summary, we ask the patient important data, in this case, getting the actual coumadin dosage. We also ask about bleeding in order to check for vital signs. Once we have the important data, we again repeat the question for checking the INR value, and dependent on the answer, the protocol will give us what is the new coumadin prescription level. In this case, we are able to decrease it by 50%, and the protocol will tell the nurse to schedule a call in another two days. We can also show the actual clinical workflow in a separate window. This window will show the current clinical pathway, and you can see what is going on behind the scenes. We computerized all of the 36 clinical pathways in this guideline. In the next step, we will show how the guideline deals with the worsening condition of the patient. The application, of course, knows how to deal with different clinical protocols. In this case, the orange user shows the nurse that she has to look after this particular patient. The updated INR data, which shows that the patient is outside of the target level, changes his status to blue, which means, of course, a different clinical protocol. The, the conversation summary that has popped up, again, provides input for the current medical data. And as we can see, the worsening condition of the patient automatically is reflected in the system, which then changes the patient to red, which is emergent state, and requires the intervention of the attending physician. Again, different conversational summaries are popped up. The data, of course, is recorded. And the updated clinical protocol is being presented step by step, which ensures, of course, that the nurse does not miss any of the necessary steps, thereby preventing errors of omission. You can see here that we keep all of the conversation summary data stored, even though it is in free text. Um, the next part of the system that we will show you is how we can take raw medical data, which is shown here in the telemedicine box, and show it graphically in order to lower the cognitive load on the attending clinicians. In this case, our graphs are easy to understand, visual tools that can be panned in and out from seconds unto years. And as the raw medical data is popped up, we have the ability in our knowledge base to convert the raw medical data to the relevant medical concept. In this case, healthy patients according to their BMI state. And in this, here we show that and for how long the, the individual patient was at the correct BMI state. And we also have a multiple patients graph. Here we show the entire CHF population graphed according to their blood pressure and BMI state, showing the attending clinicians exactly how many of their patients were 
in a particular state, in this case one from one, over here two out of four patients were overweight for a particular period of time. This of course allows the clinician to get a much better intuitive view of their patient.